All right, we brought home another gold ball. We did, and it was a tough one. It was a, it was a good game, and uh, like I told you, nobody got the leave early, and we just uh, were able to hold on at the end and, and get a key stop. You know, they're late in the game, and it's two good football teams going at it. And it was playoff football and uh, Thanksgiving week, and so it was. If you if you like Costco football, it's a perfect place to be. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. It's lots of. Uh, I thought the fans were really, it's the first time that I've noticed the fans, you know, being uh, a part of the game. You just, as a coach, you don't really get, uh, you get locked in, so you don't hear a lot of that outside noise. But uh, there, were, there were some roars and lots of cheering and the bands were loud. I mean, it was it was a great atmosphere. So what did we learn from this one that we're going to take to next week? we got to play better. I mean, we just, uh, we felt like that we gave up uh, a, a couple of big plays defensively in the secondary and then we, uh, came out of the second half and turned it over first play of the first play out of the out of halftime and uh, we just had an opportunity really there to go shut the door on them and when we turned it over and they went and scored and made it a one possession game uh, it was game on and we you know I, I just think when you have an opportunity to uh, get up three possessions or three scores then you better make sure you take care of it in playoff football because Every team's good enough to come back. So that's what we talked about this week. Don't give up the big play. Uh, take care of the ball better than we did. And uh, we just, we've got to play our best football. That's, that's the bottom line. If you don't play your best football each week, uh, you get done pretty quick. We had some great playmakers. We had some fun plays. We did. Tyler Williams had a great night. You know, they, uh, he had three interceptions. One he returned for a touchdown for about 75, 80 yards. And uh, I think he had two interceptions in the on the year before that game. And, uh, so he, he had a huge night. Uh, Cutter and Braxton both had a great night running the football, which is only a product of good offensive line play. So, you know, that all that all goes together. And then defensively, I think uh, Hayden, Vanderroos, and, and Creed, and, and uh, Gage, all three had uh, double-digit tackles. So uh, it, it was a long night. You know, they, they ran 90 offensive plays, and we ran 40. So it was just a time – our defense was out there a long time. And – so that's another thing we talked about this week is uh, you give a good football team in, in a playoff game 90 plays, you, you're lucky to win. Uh, so we, if we do that again, we're going to be in trouble. So we better get a, better get our defense off the field, and, and when we have it, we better do something with it, which we did. We did a good job offensively of uh, running some clock, and uh, we kept the ball on the ground 95% of the time that night. So that's what we're going to have to do again, <laughs> control it and, and make sure that we get them off the field. So we're heading to Sweetwater. Tonight. Yeah, Sweetwater tonight at 7. It's a great place to play. I mean, it is a very cool stadium, uh, kind of a bowl-like deal, and uh, it's not too big, so it's going to feel like we've got a lot of people there. Uh, and it's just it's a really cool atmosphere. And uh, that field has an S in the middle of it, which I told the boys stands for shallow water, and the end zone say Mustang. So we hope, we're hoping all there's some karma here, but uh, it's going to be a fun night. We'll see y'all there. All right, thanks.